Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is something I've been waiting to film since a very 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 long time at this point so um, like I'm telling the title, it's gonna be a video all about planners now um, first of all I want to tell you that I'm not someone who's really a planner planner person I've never been one but this year has been a transformation I have totally changed into being a planner person now I'm not totally like a compulsive planner and it's not like I have an OCD that if things are not planned for me I will not be able to function I'm not that person but I definitely feel like since planners have become a part of my life my life is so much more organized and it just makes me a more productive person overall now you might be someone who might totally feel very comfortable just having things on your phone itself and I can definitely tell that it's a lot more handy when you have things on your phone compared to like having an actual book because for me personally I don't carry around my planners everywhere and that is kind of like a constraint that I have I wish that I had something like a planner like maybe like a planner app in my phone itself that would make my life a lot easier for sure but as of now there is there is nothing that is available right now which can do that for me which is why I do prefer like physical actual planners and um, I have a quite I mean I have quite a bit of a story to share as to how I got into planners so um, I have been obsessed with stationery like pretty much my entire school life if you saw the amount of stationery that I just bought and collected like a collector you would be blown away but I feel like after I got into like junior college and stuff like that I kind of was not as obsessed with stationery anymore but um, I used to love just checking out um, like pages on Instagram which had like really cool stationery and stuff and like cute stuff and stuff like that and um, I came across our tree type studio I believe that's how you're supposed to say it and I came across their yearly planners this is what it looks like this is Cubo which is like their mascot and um, during the valley like the last valley uh, they had a launch for this planner so um, at that time they had their uh, 2018 planner already but um, of course it's no point buying like a 2000 rupee planner for like what four months not even four months actually like close to like two three months so um, I came across their page I feel like in end of September or October maybe but then I was like for two or three months there's no point spending like 2000 bucks and there are so many pages that was going to totally get wasted because like the year is past already so it doesn't make sense so I was super duper excited to get their 2019 planner and the day of um, Diwali Puja I believe is when they launched their plan of like pre-order and stuff and I literally placed an order that day itself and it took me so much of convincing to like actually convince my mom to buy me this because she was like you have so many diaries and so much stationery lying around your house which you never ever use why do you want to spend like 2000 rupees on like a notebook and I was like mom it's not just a notebook it's a planner and it's so much more organized compared to just regularly just writing down on like blank pages or like of course ruled pages not really blank pages but yeah I was like this is gonna be so much useful so so much useful what's wrong with my English it's gonna be so 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 useful for me I really want to get it and she saw how like eager I was about it so she gave in and she let me buy it so yeah that's when I got my first planner which was this one right here and uh, this is the first one I'm going to talk about so I'll take you through it so when you open it it has uh, the first page which says this super fun planner belongs to and I've not put my name in there but yeah this is what the face, first page looks like and then when you turn you have like a note written and then there is like stuff which uh, like it says my 19 magic moments but uh, I've not written anything here then we have stickers which again I haven't used because I'm not really and I love having stickers but I don't really use a lot of stickers for some reason I don't know what it is it's it's dumb I feel like but yeah there are two pages of stickers and then it has a travel bucket list now I do have a travel bucket list but I know uh, 2019 is not going to be the year probably where I'm going to like travel a lot firstly because I'm broke secondly because um, it, it's just not what I'm focused on right now it's more of like a goal that I have that I want to travel a lot in the future but not this year which is why again this page is empty as well but it has like checklists and stuff like that so when we turn again it has like the calendar for uh, 2019 and 2020 as well then um, that's when the months part starts and uh, 
this is for the January. Now, um, this is what the page looks like. This is like the monthly section. So how I basically use this planner is for my YouTube only. So um, I uh, have the schedule of uh, posting my YouTube videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So whatever video I'm going to post on a particular day, I will have that written down here. And um, I also was doing uh, Instagram videos very regularly back in January and February and all of that. So for Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, whatever you, uh, Instagram video I was posting, uh, I would have that written down as well. So that is pretty much it. Now they have like a notes section right here, which I am actually using for my lipsticks. So now what that means is that uh, I have a lot of lipsticks and the ones that are expiring this year, I have those written down. Now, for example, there is a lipstick which is expiring in January or has already expired in 2018, but I'm still using it. I have the list of those lipsticks, like the names of those lipsticks written down here to uh, remind myself like throughout the month that, you know what, I need to kind of focus on this lipstick because it is going bad and it's going to expire and stuff like that. So I have written that down here and then I've also written down that for like the next month so for example I can just turn the page and see that you know what this lipstick is expiring next month so I can probably focus on it like this month and next month and like try to use it up of course no lipstick would get over in like a month or two but yeah it's just something that I do like for my own self to know that which lipsticks are older in my collection and which ones are new and stuff like that so yeah, that is pretty much it for like the monthly organizing and planner part. And honestly, this makes my life really, really easy, uh, especially because I have another planner to share with you, which I also use not just for my YouTube, but for my life in general overall. I'll talk about that in a bit, but this is like a weekly planner. Now, um, how these two pair really well together, I'll just quickly brief through that and tell you. So now, for example, there is a video that needs to go up on Friday. I would try my best to film that video either the previous week itself or maybe on like whenever throughout the week like before friday i would say i'll try my best to film that video before wednesday itself because that way i have enough time to edit that video upload it schedule it and stuff like that so yeah uh that's how this particular part like helps me film like for example if we're in week one i would make sure that i film all the videos that are in week two the previous week itself so that way i'm like uh I mean, I'm not like behind my schedule, I'm like on my schedule and I'm a really, really, really big like pre-filmer. So yeah, considering what my uh, like life is in terms of college and work and stuff like that, I can't really film uh, like if a video is to go up on Friday, I can't film it on Thursday and like edit it on the same day and stuff like that. I don't have the time to do that. So yeah, pre-filming is something that is like a very, very, very big crucial part of my life and that's how... I'm able to like still maintain my schedule and post regular videos on YouTube. So yeah, that really helps for that. And this is how I can have a good glance of the entire month and all the videos that are going to uh, like go up in the month. Now, anyways, I feel like I've spoken about this a lot. Let's move on to the next pages. Now, this is like the day to day part. So this is like a bifurcation of the entire week. Now, what I do here is that um, for the videos, which for the YouTube videos, I have uh, filmed, edited, thumbnail, scheduled and uploaded, written. Now, uh, earlier I was just having filmed, edited and thumbnail, but now I also have scheduled and uploaded, added onto that. So, yeah, what uploaded means is that I will just like upload the video on YouTube, but it will be like on private and then scheduled is when like everything is done. Thumbnail is done, the upload is done, the description box is edited, everything is done and it's just perfect to go live when it's supposed to. That is what uh, scheduled would mean and I also add like the day uh, and the date when it is supposed to go live. So I would write all of that down along with the title of the video here and once I film like I check the part uh, which says film then edited again uploaded scheduled thumbnail and however I'm doing it like in whatever order I would just um, like you know keep taking on that so that way i know that you know what all of these videos are like absolutely ready to go live when they're supposed to and again it's a part of like the pre-filming thing so that is what these all like the this particular area in the planner is meant for and um, i was also really uh, into the uh, the skincare routine part which is again related to the uh, another planner which i'll show you in a while uh, where i was really regular with like my skincare routine and all of the steps in my skincare routine like toner serum essence moisturizer eye cream etc etc so i had it written down here as to which uh, products i'm using in a particular week and then i used to just like keep repeating and writing the same thing ahead as well 
so in the notes section here that's what i used to write and yeah i think that's pretty much it so um that's majorly how i used up like the main part and then we also have notes and doodles written down here so here i used to write all the miscellaneous stuff sometimes if, if i feel like i have a lot of content for a particular video which i need to note down like every single thing i used to maybe write it down here i've also like marked my project plan progress here so we have that as well and yeah that's pretty much it how i use the planner i'm not going to show you the months we aren't currently right now because that's where all my pre-filming pre data is so i'm not gonna share that because it would be like a very big spoiler but yeah that's pretty much it for how i use this rft type planner and rft type rt type i don't know how to say it but yeah this is one of the best purchases that i have made and i definitely have realized that a planner like this is absolutely crucial to my life and yeah i think this one is also super duper cute um uh, will i go ahead and repurchase the same exact planner for 2020 as well probably yes um the reason i say probably is because i feel like there are other brands which also like other stationery uh companies that are also making really good planners but um the reason why I probably would gravitate more towards this is because of the hardbound cover and also the fact that it's like a spiral thing. So I definitely prefer this sort of like, um, like I prefer a planner which is made like this, not like just a regular uh, like the textbook kind of material. I don't know what exactly it's called, but I definitely prefer like a hardbound planner. So if I find a hardbound spiral planner from a different brand, which is probably cheaper and which also has the exact same uh, features this one does, I'd probably try out a different brand. But if not, I'm definitely going to go back to getting another one of these next year as well. And it's definitely something I would highly, highly recommend if this is something uh, that you feel would be useful in your life, be it for your work or be it for your personal life or um, if you have a youtube channel or any kind of platform as well if you even have a business i feel like it's really good to like write down the meetings and stuff the deadlines and stuff like that and all of that i think it will be really 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 helpful and useful so yeah that was that moving on next to my second planner is uh, the one that i use i feel like the least right now and it's this one right here it's the you look so good planner by or giraffe uh, or giraffe not giraffe and the face shop so this is one that i got free with uh, my face shop order that was more than triple nine it's like a nika thing so they had this the end of the year uh, during the end of the year and this looked so cute uh, i saw so many uh, bloggers who had got this in pr when they were doing like promotions for this offer so i totally wanted to get this and the reason why i even bought that the like stuff for triple and is just to get this plan of free like that is how cute i found this to be and i don't regret doing that because this is something which is again super duper like just special to me and it's close to my heart but it's not something i use a lot anymore um the reason like so how i basically use this let's get into that so again when you open this up you have this planner belongs to and i don't have my name here again as well but uh, we have some more pages of stickers so we have that then again we have the calendar thing the same one that uh the archer day plan our dry type planner has and then every uh month when like the first page they have like one of their products this is for done it's the rice water dry cleansing foam so again when you turn you have the same monthly uh like demarcation and if you see uh this one is not as uh like it doesn't have as much of uh, information written on it so what i basically decided that i want to make this planner is going to be like a personal planner like for me uh where i can just write whatever like happened throughout the day i'm not uh, i've not really been someone who likes to write like a diary or something like that occasionally i do like to do that on like really really special um uh, times but like otherwise i just want to like note down stuff that happens throughout the day personal things like whatever just happened throughout the day like the happenings of the day but uh, just like in short like make small notes about it and then i can go back and read them in the future and that's the reason that's what i wanted this planner to be so this page would have like the highlight of the day um and then on the uh, pages inside so now it has a notes page right here and on this particular page i've shared a lot of video ideas that i have which is why i'm not actually showing you this but yeah here i have like 
purchases of the month and then I have um, my video ideas so if I think of a particular idea for a video which I probably do like later or even like in the same month for January then I would write it down here and then so and so because every month has like that notes page so for video ideas and for purchases of the month I have these two pages these two blank pages right here uh, I mean blank rule pages and then this is uh, kind of like a review of the month kind of page so it has like three things I'm grateful for skills I'm practicing books I'm reading goals for the month calories burnt water intake do more, do less, and then you write down what you want to do more and what you want to do less. Uh, what worked and what didn't work. Skincare goals, wish list for skincare, and then also new things to try. And it also has a quote at the bottom. I feel like every page has that, yeah. Like every page has something in the, written, in the bottom written down, uh, like just a quote or just like a saying or something like that. So, yeah, this one is pretty filled with a lot of stuff. But if you see like for Feb, I feel like it's not, yeah, this one is like literally blank. So yeah, Jan, I was super duper motivated in the starting. But then as you go further, you would see that I have not filled uh, anything pretty much. Yeah. It's all blank. March is blank. Feb is blank. April uh, is also blank. So yeah, after Jan, I totally lost motivation and I did not fill the pages at all. And then um, as we go to these pages right here, um, I don't want to show you what I've written down because it's like personal stuff. So I'll actually find like a blank page which shows the format. So yeah, this is what the format looks like. So um, you have like enough space to write again, uh, things that happen throughout the day and stuff like that. So I feel like in um, Jan and Feb also, I believe, yeah, Feb, uh, March, uh, April also. So I feel like midway in April, I stopped doing this. Yeah, after April 9th, I have not filled anything. So yeah, for uh, I would say close to three to four months, I was um, pretty regular with writing down like whatever happened throughout the day. But after that, I totally stopped and I lost uh, the motivation and uh, I just don't want to do it anymore for some reason. So yeah. That happened and what I was talking about earlier when I spoke about the other planner and the notes that I had written down on that. So here you have like the face shops weekly skin ritual and it says toner, serum, emulsion, eye cream, face cream and sleeping mask. This is the ideal um, skincare routine that you should follow based on like the Korean skincare routine and that's what of course the face shop is a Korean brand so that is what they recommend and you have like um, small boxes in which you can pick so i have it for monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday and i did this pretty regularly again i would say um like the ticking part thing um i think march yeah i think march uh, third week is when uh, was the last time i had done that and then after that i totally stopped so i think that is pretty much why so that's pretty much it that this planner has and they also have pages at the end of the planner where I share like um, where I've written down like my makeup inventory, skincare inventory, or uh, product pan, stop shop my stash, and like stuff related to all of that. So um, that is how I use like the last uh, pages that we have like these ruled pages, the blank ones. So um, yeah, I don't know why I call ruled pages blank. Like that totally does not make any sense. But yeah, that is how I've been using this planner. Uh, I don't use it as much anymore. The only part of this planner that I still use is like the notes at the end, like the project pan, shop my stash, and like makeup inventory and skincare and entry related stuff. But um, yeah, this is still something which is super duper close to my heart, and that's the reason why I still want to keep it. Now, if you are someone um, who's not like me, who would like to like keep writing down stuff that's happened throughout the day and all of that, then I definitely think that getting like another planner would be great for that particular reason so you can have like a personal planner and then you can have more of like a professional planner so yeah this was like my ideal duo that i used to always want to have with with me as much as i could yeah it's definitely bulky so i could not like travel with it or have it in my bag or something like that but again there was no need to like actually have it in my bag it would have been great but then too heavy too bulky and since i don't really uh, 
I don't really need something like this to actually carry to like work or something like that. Now, if again you are someone who's an entrepreneur and you have like business meetings and stuff like that, then of course the professional planner needs to be with you at all times. But I didn't really need that, so the fact that these were so heavy did not really matter as much. And then moving on to the last planner, which is the like one of the more recent additions to my collection. I don't remember when I actually got this. But um, it's been quite a few months and I've been using this quite a bit. Uh, not consistently, sometimes I just fall off. But uh, just in terms of organizing, I think it's a really, really good tool that I can use. And it's something which I use for my professional life as well as for my YouTube. So um, this is called my weekly plan. So it basically has, again, uh, seven boxes for like each day of the month. And then it has a notes box. And the end part is the most cutest part, which I don't really use as much, but it's called the mood key. So uh, if you see every single uh, day in the end, you have like today's mood. And this is the mood key that it's supposed to follow. So it says productive, meh, blue, happy, and normal or average. And it also says treat yourself, which kind of reminded me that I need to treat myself at least once in a week, every single week. And then I could like tick on the yes part of this, but uh, I've not been doing that regularly. But this reminds me that I think I should definitely do it more often. So what I use, like how I use this for and uh, stuff like that is I write down which week the particular period is meant for at the top here. So this one is from 1st July to 7th July. And um, if you see I've written 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, everywhere. Uh, the reason for this is uh, what 1st means is that the day I wash my hair is 1st second day and then the third day and then again i'm someone i generally tend to wash my hair every three days so this is particularly meant for that now the reason being i've written that particular thing is because the day i wash my hair i tend to not film as much and then second day is generally where i prefer filming videos the most and third day is something i will film only if i absolutely need to so it kind of helps me with that is to knowing if i'm gonna have a good hair day the day i'm uh, filming a video or not and I tend to film videos more on the second day if you see this is the second day and I have a video film I mean a video uh, scheduled to film on that particular day and then again here as well so that is majorly meant for that and uh, I'm also planning on making this a little bit more productive by also writing down uh, work related stuff on this as well for example if I have a meeting on a particular day or if I have uh, a specific task scheduled for a particular day and stuff like that then i can also add that as well so it will help me because uh, we do have like weekly tasks scheduled so it will be good to add that as well and yeah i think this is definitely a lot more uh, helpful in terms of if i have to pre-film and stuff like that this is really helpful uh, in deciding when i have to film like what video and in my art right eye planner i can write down on what day i have to film uh, sorry on what day which video needs to go live and stuff like that so yeah the two work really really well together for me in terms of uh, just managing uh, my youtube channel and when like my entire video schedule basically so yeah that was it for the three planners which um, i actually use and which i actually feel like was worth mentioning and talking about i do have other notebooks in which i also write down stuff that is related but i feel like those were not as important to share in terms of like what i really wanted to share with you guys so yeah that is pretty much it for this video i really 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 hope that you found this video helpful informative fun to watch and all of that stuff so yeah that is pretty much it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys this video is like 23 minutes long oh my gosh if you stay till the end of this video i will leave an emoji right here that will tell me that you actually stayed till the end of this 24 minute long video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys if you enjoyed watching this video and if you stayed so long i definitely hope and expect that you've definitely hit the subscribe button by uh, now and if you haven't then please please definitely hit on that button subscribe to my channel and also hit on the bell because that will get to you know every single time i post a new video i'll also leave my instagram and i'll try to find and link these things in the description box as well I'm not sure if it's still available or not. I don't think the Archer Type Planner is still available. The Orgiraf one was again a specific collaboration with the face shop and they created this planner, but they do have like the other regular planners as well. So I'll just leave a link to the websites probably from where I got these things and you can find like similar stuff that they do have in their like their existing collection. 
and if whatever is still available so yeah i'll definitely leave that in the description box so you can definitely check it out and yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye